Guys, we got coolers. That's right, the Ninja Frost Vault coolers. We're gonna check them out. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss this one. Guys, welcome to the new studio. Hey, so glad you're here. Y'all, we got some finishing touches we need to do to the studio, but Mrs. CJ said if I don't start filming in here pretty soon, she's gonna kick me out of the house. Because you know what I did? I took over our dining room to make this new studio. Now, granted, it's the dining room that we use twice a year, but for some strange reason, it was very important to have. But I was able to convince Mrs. CJ to let me take the spot over and uh, I think we did a pretty good job going through it you can see we got this you know this space basically sponsored by Ninja over on the side we have our Ninja indoor grill the possible pot the Ninja air fryer we got the Ninja oven over here obviously you know we like to have a cocktail or two in here so we set up the bar behind me as you can see we're stocked with plenty of libations you got all my cookbooks up there Got my spice rack to the side over here, my hats, all that good jazz. Aprons over my shoulder. We got we got everything we need in here and more. Um, this island we got from Ikea. It's got plenty of room for all my plates, uh, my uh, cast iron. We're gonna set up the pots and pans on the side. So like I said, we still got some finishing touches need to do, but it's coming along real nice. Let's get back to why you're here. Y'all, these Ninja Frost Vault coolers are cool. This is some of the coolest ideas or technology I've seen in a cooler. It's gonna be tough not to say cool and cooler in the same sentence, so just bear with me. But the frost vault, where you actually have a drawer underneath your ice chest that keeps everything in it refrigerator cool without making it wet or soggy or whatever in there. Now, I know you all have uh, taken a cooler full of sandwiches to the beach, to the park, whatever, and you, you know that if they're sitting in the ice, somehow they're gonna get condensation on them or somehow they're gonna get uh, water leaking or whatever. And you're gonna have those soggy sandwiches and you just don't want that, all right? So trust me when I say, this is one of the best ideas to come from cooler manufacturing that we've ever seen. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the features on both of these coolers. So we got the 30 quart right here and the 50 quart right here. I will have links down below for both of them. There will be affiliate links. So if you wanna get one of these, it doesn't cost you anything more to do it, but it helps out your boy. So if you wanna get one, might as well use my link, right? Right. <laughs> helps pay for this uh, new studio. <laughs> Before we go over the features of each of these, I want to address the elephant in the room. They do not have wheels. They do not have a handle that stretches so you can drag it with you, right? This is truly just a lift up cooler. You gotta use a little strength. They're really well built and with that in mind, they are gonna be pretty heavy, okay? The biggest one here is 29 pounds. That's without ice or anything in it. So unless you're a big, strong, strapping young lad like me, you fill it with ice and sodas and Capri Suns or adult beverages or whatever, you're probably gonna need a little help getting it into your tailgate, into the trunk, whatever, the back of your SUV. So just kind of keep that in mind. Yes, it would be cool if there were uh, wheels on it or if there was a long handle to pull, you know, the coolers with those wheels. But I did notice that on their Facebook post, uh, Ninja's Facebook post, tons of people were spamming their comments about not having wheels and being so heavy and so on. So I would think that that's something they're gonna take into account and uh, maybe do a little upgrade somewhere along the line with these. But in the meantime, no wheels. You're gonna have to use some brute strength. Wow, to lift these bad boys up. Cool. Cool. And guys, I know you're gonna do it, so go ahead and spam the comments down below about it being too heavy, about it not having wheels, whatever. Anything you wanna pick apart on these bad boys, throw it down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it, and then what I'll probably end up doing is relaying my video uh, to Ninja and uh, just let them know that this is what people are asking for, what people are seeing, and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll work on this together, okay? But in the meantime, they don't have wheels, I'm okay with it. I think these are badass coolers. I love that frost vault. 
I mean, that's just something growing up, going to the beach, going to the uh, camping, all that stuff with just a regular Coleman cooler and my stuff getting soggy along the way, water seeping in. Dude, this is, a, this is the real deal. This is very cool. Now, let's go ahead and start going over the features of this bad boy. All right, let's just start going through the front. We got lockable lid and drawers. And what's what you'll notice on the top of these, you can actually throw like a padlock through the, the front locking mechanism right there. So if you, you know, leave this in the back and you don't want anything stolen, you're good to go. It's got sturdy handles on the side for easy lifting, easy to carry, or comfortable to hold on to. Again, the best feature of this thing is the Ninja Frost Vault Dry Zone. It's easy to access your goods with keeping them cold, dry, and separate from the main cooler full of ice. This Frost Vault technology delivers food safe refrigerator temps for days, keeping it under 40 degrees, and it keeps your food cold, dry, and separate from the main cooler full of ice versus traditional coolers. So to get the most out of this, make sure whatever you put in that frost vault is uh, pre-chilled. That makes for uh, best results. You're gonna put a layer of ice on the bottom of the main cooler to keep that drawer cold. Do not add ice to the drawer. You can fill that frost vault drawer up completely with food or drinks, but you know, you're not trying to overfill it, right? And then it's best obviously to keep the drawer closed when not in use and limit opening and closing to maintain the optimal temperatures in there. Pretty standard stuff, right? One thing they recommend is, you know, do a first cleaning of these and, and I will before we use them, but you know, just run, rinse the cooler with warm soapy water and then, you know, leave it open and let it air dry. Pretty, pretty simple, right? So guys, the main feature of this, of course, is that frost vault. I think that's gonna be the main reason you're gonna wanna pick this bad boy up or the littler one. I can't wait to get this filled up for the tailgate. Baseball season's about to start. And you know, we do a lot of tailgating for my angels. So we're gonna fill these bad boys up. This 30 quart holds up to 48 cans of uh, soda or, you know, adult beverage. The 50 quart, you know, it's gonna hold a lot more. There doesn't happen to be a sticker on the front for me to know how many cans it holds, but it's gonna hold a shit ton of stuff in there. And that is a metric measurement, a shit ton. So guys, this is a badass. I think Yeti has uh, met its match with this one. Comment down below if you guys have a Yeti and if you think this is better than a Yeti. They're comparable size, comparable price. I think the Ninja might be a little bit more expensive to that Yeti, but it also has the Frost Vault and the Yeti just has soggy food, okay? So I'm excited, I hope you're excited too. Guys, don't forget to spam the comments down below and tell me what you think. All right, y'all, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you like the new studio. We'll definitely, we're gonna be filming from here from pretty much here on out or the backyard, of course, when we're you know doing our smoke in or the wood fire or whatever. But I'm excited for the new studio. I'm excited for these new coolers. I'm excited that you're here. So please hit that thumbs up, right? Hit that subscribe button, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. Right. Helps move and groove this video, right? Right. Like I said earlier, if you want to get one of these bad boys or both of them, links will be down below. If you'd like to become a show producer like all these awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that need to run out and get themselves a Frost Vault Cooler by Ninja, there are two ways to join. Either you can hit my Patreon, and there's a link below in the video description, or you hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for uh, checking out CJ's new coolers. Cheers.